number of years ago, my daughter was Loalenu, a Yankee fan. And I, trying to be a good father, took her to a baseball game. As a kid, I had been very active in sports, but I wasn't big on spectator sports. And it had been a very long time since I'd been to a major league baseball game. From the time I got there and the game began, I found a very interesting experience. Basically, nothing was going on. Between pitch and the pitch, from, there was almost nothing happening. And by the top of the first inning, I was bored out of my mind. Happened to be that my daughter brought with her a, autobi- a biography of Derek Jeter, and I got a chance to read it. And I found in that biography something fascinating. Derek Jeter shows up to the game four hours before the game, every single game. He showers, suits up, begins limbering, begins stretching, begins throwing the ball. By the time that first pitch is thrown out, he's four hours into the game, not just warmed up, not just ready, primed and ready. And I think that's an apt parable for us. How much time do we take before dominating to prepare, to think, to contemplate? If we come in five minutes late, it's not just that we're late, we're way, way behind the game. If people say dominating doesn't work, it's boring, my mind floats away, spend a few minutes preparing. Spend a few minutes thinking, thinking about the greatness of our Creator, thinking about what dominating is, and if you spend even a few minutes before the game preparing, you'll find your dominating is a very different experience.